Good morning, Rangers. I'm Donovan Murphy. And I'm Aaron Rodriguez. And this is your Ranger Report for Tuesday, September 27th. Wednesday, like tomorrow, is CU at the Pole. This is a nationally recognized day where students meet at their flag poles and pray for the students, staff, and their country. Join the fellowship beginning at 7.45 a.m. Wednesday at the Flag at the Pole in years past, the gathering took place at the Rotunda, but this year, everyone will see you at the Pole. Field to Face shirts are on sale now, all three lunches, and in B to 11. Shirts are $10 each and will be on sale through October 5th. Fields of Faith will also be collecting blankets during the night of the event to benefit the needy and the homeless. Smithson Valley FFA invites you to the Farmhouse Market Benefit Fashion Show this Sunday, October 2nd at 5 p.m. in the Faithville Courtyard. Come enjoy dinner and a show as the FFA girls strut their stuff down the catwalk. Tickets are $7 at the door and all proceeds benefit Smithson Valley FFA. Congratulations to the Smithson Valley FFA Ag Clay shooting team for placing first at the Operations Game Thief shooting this past Friday and for placing second at the C.J. Carmichael charity shoot this past Saturday. Homecoming tickets are on sale this week at $20 each. Prices will go up to $25 a week of October 3rd through 7th and $30 at the door. Tickets will be sold during lunches until the homecoming dance. The art department is holding a call for artists. All students interested in participating in our Fall Fest face painting booth, please attend the meeting held today from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. in Miss George's room. Student Council is hosting an overnight lock on October 1st and 2nd. All Student Council paid members are welcome and information can be picked up in A102 and turned in by Wednesday. Those attending will plan for homecoming, complete projects, and play leadership games as well as eat, socialize, and have a great time. Come and join. It's time for UIL Academics. Join us for an informational meeting on Tuesday at 6 p.m. in the library or stop by Ms. Sellers' room A202 for more information. Juniors and seniors, the College and Career Center will have financial aid information sessions at 6.30 p.m. today in the SBHS Auditorium. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors and seniors, will, we will also be having the Coma ISD College Fair at Canyon Lake High School on Wednesday from 6 to 8 p.m. This Wednesday, the Ballroom Club will learn how to salsa. Meet us in the Senior Dining Hall from 4.15 to 5.15. Chips and salsa will be served. Current Events Club is holding a meeting this Wednesday, September 28th, after school in Miss Watkins' room, B113. Do you get in trouble for not showing your work in math class? Can you think and complete under pressure? Are you interested in scholarship opportunities? Join UIL Number Sense. We will meet Tuesday and Wednesday at 7.45 a.m., or you can practice Tuesday after school from 4.15 to 445. Practices are held in Miss Nipper's room D210. The yearbook will be $65 until October 28th. You may order your yearbook online at Jostens.com or in Miss Edmondson's room C105. You may use the app called Replay It. You can share photos so that the yearbook staffer can see them and use them. You can see the school year as it happens with the Replay app. This Thursday will be the first Chemistry Club meeting of the year. Anyone who is interested may join us in room A210 at 4 p.m. to kick off the year. The last day to sign up for FCCLA is Friday, September 30th. Dues are $20. See Ms. Alcott in C114 for more details. And now over to Lauren Cralo with the World News. Thank you, Donovan. The first presidential debate was last night in Hempstead, New York. Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump argued over current political issues in the United States, giving their opinion on what is best for the country. The next debate will be October 9th, moderated by Chris Wallace. Two separate bomb attacks took place in the German city of Dresden Monday night, according to the Saxony police. One of the attacks targeted a mosque, while the second targeted the International Congress Center of Dresden. No injuries have been reported from the two homemade devices, only property damage, police added. Now back to Aaron. Thanks, Lauren. Hey, Donovan. So I was playing baseball this weekend. I saw a baseball, and it was getting bigger. I, I didn't know why it was getting bigger. Then it hit me. <laughs> well, I'm Aaron Rodriguez. And I'm Donovan Murphy. Have a ranger day.